Hey dear friends, welcome back to Hot News. Hope you are having an exciting day. We took your feedback from yesterday's video, which was a mockumentary, by the way. I just want, I want that to be very clear. Our channel's not dying. We're actually doing pretty okay, especially when you consider the severance of Hot News away from UFD Tech. Everything like made sense. Like there was no death happening. Anyways, the, the, the point is, I took all of the feedback from that video, not the purpose of the feedback, but the feedback in general of people liking Hot News on UFD Tech. So that's why it's here. We just wanna, we'll, we'll do some experimenting over the next few weeks, months, days, years, whatever it might be, to figure out what's a sustainable thing that you guys like. Because a lot of people talked about how they appreciated Hot News on the UFD Tech channel and they don't wanna subscribe to a second channel. That's totally fine. But in terms of like, oh no, you killed your channel because you separated it, we, my channel wasn't dying, we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so I mean, that's, that's where I'm at with this and that's why this is here. We'll figure out Hot News channel on something when I'm not, Good. Okay, like button on stuff. Do it now and get subscribed. Okay, could you do that? And also, let's talk about sponsors because you need sponsors to, to keep things going. Display, display.com forward slash UFD Tech Official. Buy dope metal prints. Look at that Goku one. It is the best one we have in the office. They have another sale going on currently besides the typical 15% off that you would get with coupon code UFD. It's actually coupon code TOPART, T-O-P-A-R-T, -T, where you can get 32% off. You want officially licensed cyberpunk metal prints to hang on your walls with magnets? Yes, you do. Go use the coupon code TOPART, but use on link so that we get credit, please. Anyways, let's talk about the news, which is Apple um, kind of just hates retro gaming completely. In a, in a week where we had both NVIDIA and Intel, not a week, but like in the past couple weeks, we've had NVIDIA and Intel release drivers that supported integer scaling for retro games so that you could upscale everything. Apple's just like, you want to play games, buy a dang PC, because you ain't doing it on our platform, no siree, because with the latest introduction of the newest Mac OS, Catalina, you will no longer be able to support anything less than a 64-bit application. 32-bit applications are dead. So this has led people, including uh, apps such as Steam, to say, hey, hey, you, do you really need to make sure you're not running a 32-bit version of us, otherwise you're gonna go away. But in case you're running a 32-bit version of a game on a 64-bit Steam, you don't have that game access anymore. And that includes favorites like Half-Life or Doom. You're just, not the not Doom 2015, but anyways, that's not the point. The point is in an age where people are getting very much into retro games and including Nintendo, we'll talk about them later, Apple is just saying it's dead weight. 32-bit support is not something we want to program into our OS anymore. It's over. You guys just, no, suck it up, deal with it. It costs us too much programming time. If you want to play games, well, dual boot windows or something, you peasants, okay? Because Apple ecosystem is here to stay. It's better than what you have. Shut up, you, we know what's best for you. What are you, in 2009? Huh? Huh? You weak? You weak? That's how I imagine Tim Cook talking to me in my dreams. Same. It's scary. He is, he is a very violent man when he confronts me. Sometimes he yells at me in Estonian. It's a really rough, I can't. I never want to meet him in real life, I'll tell you that. But while Apple is trying to keep us in the past and just ruining our lives, Samsung is bringing us to the folding future if you live in Korea, because the Galaxy Fold will officially launch in Korea tomorrow. Yes, no more waiting. So if you want the folding phone, you want to be one of the first and be one of the first YouTubers, just hop on a plane, go to South Korea, pick one up. Otherwise you have to wait till an indefinite time where Samsung hasn't confirmed whether or not it's coming to Western markets. <sighs> Now let's talk about more stuff like the Mate 30 Pro, which has leaked renders that look horrible. I hate this, this is bad. In an age where Samsung is getting rid of notches by putting punch holes, Huawei's still embracing it. And then they have this giant circular cutout that looks like that one Nokia phone that had like that 36 megapixel. Ah, I don't love it. I don't love it. Do you like Mate 30 Pro? Let me know down below. But you know what you will love because you're watching UFD Tech is the ROG phone too, which as of yesterday at IFA 2019, they announced that they will have an ultimate edition, which will not have 128 gigabytes, nor will it have 102 gigabytes. It'll have one terabyte of storage of UFS 3.0, super duper fast, incredibly great storage on it. And it's gonna start at a nice price tag of 1200 euro, 
which comparing that to the XS Max, considering the fact that you get 120 hertz OLED screen, Snapdragon 855 Plus, 6,000 milliamp hour battery, I think I'd buy this over the iPhone, I'll tell you what. And you get RGB, I mean, but now one terabyte of storage for that storage capacity that you need. I don't run out of 64 gigs on my phone. I, everything's on the cloud. I don't, games, games, local games. I don't know, man, emulating games. I can't think of a reason to need one terabyte on my phone. I'll tell you that much. And there's a guy who didn't know why he needed to keep around $243,000 instead just gave it away because he was duped. He was bamboozled. He was scoozle-loozled by somebody using a deep fake voice, which is AI processing to change one voice into another in order to think that his CEO was calling him and asking him to transfer money into a Hungarian account for one of their suppliers. The dude transferred 220,000 euro or $243,000. And after he realized that he wasn't gonna get reimbursed by the CEO, he started to suspect things were a little off. Anyways, this is just the reality that we're coming into where things are going to be completely fake. This is probably something you need to be watching out for for political reasons or just other reasons. Anyways, I mean, it could be very easy to believe videos out on the internet, but with deep fake faces and deep fake voices, you're gonna need some training to learn what has been deep faked and what hasn't just like, I mean, it's very easy to call something as Photoshop now that we've had tons of experience of seeing fake things all over the internet. So just prepare yourself, prepare your parents specifically specifically your octogenarians that you have in your life. Get them ready for knowing that everything you read on the internet is completely real, as Abraham Lincoln once said. So let's move on into talking about Dave Bautista being in Gears of War. It's about effing time is apparently what he had to say about it. It's cool, he's gonna be Marcus Phoenix, it's kinda of cool. The reviews for Gears 5 have actually been pretty phenomenal. I've seen roughly eight to 10 out of 10, so dang. I'm trying to get in the movie, but he got in the game. Yeah. Fail. Oh, WWE store turned actor. Haha, <laughs> no, you're just a game actor now. Just, only, even though that probably had a giant budget. Anyways, let's talk about somebody who didn't have a giant budget, still made the most of it that they could. I saw this on the internet and I was like, I need to talk about this. It's Zygma Tech launching their new broad mid tower case, which just looks like a complete and utter ripoff of the Lee and Lee 011. I just, I'm, I'm gonna say it now. It looks, it looks like it's a complete ripoff, if not a worse one. It does have a full like glass side as opposed to having the steel frame in there or aluminum frame, whatever they're gonna use. Me no likey, don't do that. And then talking about Huawei earlier in the show, now we're gonna talk about them again because they released a statement regarding the US government saying that they have been perpetuating some less than uh, positive means of working with them and doing things that could be considered cyber warfare against the company in order to make sure that they are complying with whatever the US wants them to, including stating that uh, they did not steal smartphone camera technology. And you need to stop United States, you hear? Otherwise, we're not gonna sell our stuff to you and then we won't be able to spy on you anymore. That's not gonna be good. Stop it. And then more phone stuff, because I can't put everything in the same category for some reason when I'm compiling hot news. The Google Pixel 4, which is supposed to have a time of flight sensor for motion tracking, actually good motion tracking, apparently is coming with a warning that has been uh, shown off in some Best Buy images stating that it does not work in all regions. Uh, it will not work in Japan. It will work in the US, Canada, Singapore, Australia, Taiwan, and most European countries. So it's not gonna be active everywhere. Whether or not that is due to privacy reasons, whether or not that's due to like FCC type approval reasons, it's not quite clear at this point, or it could just be a fake uh, warning out there. Who knows? We'll find out when the Pixel 4 is actually announced in about a month. Then what was announced yesterday at Nintendo's Direct, at Nintendo Direct, was that Overwatch is coming to the Switch on October 15th. Exciting times, as well as SNES games, which are available today. They are launching, I think it's 30 games for SNES? 20 games for SNES on the Switch as of today. They also had a couple of announcements for Smash Bros, including Sans being a freaking costume for it. Not a whole lot that was amazing, but some of it was pretty good. And then speaking of not amazing, nor really good, just something that I thought some people might care about, they have a Tomb Raider game movie sequel with Alicia Vic, Vic, Vikander. Congrats. The movie was so mediocre, it still got a sequel. 
Ah, and then let's talk about something that's exciting for me because I love things fast is Amazon is now offering one day shipping with their Prime memberships, which is a pretty incredible feat. Two day shipping was amazing and revolutionary back when it came out. And apparently they're expecting the stocks to go up quite a bit because of this. It'll bring on more customers. It'll allow them to deliver more services. However, while they announced the fact that they are working on same or one day delivery for Amazon Prime, there was another report that came out by Ars Technica on the same day talking about how Amazon's delivery contractors are a little sketch and you kind of just have to you know um, what apparently there have been quite a few incidences with the 250 subcontracted companies that Amazon uses for their delivery services and because Amazon doesn't like to work with people who are employed at delivery services. They encourage and will give money to individuals who will work on starting their own delivery service so that they can subcontract with those companies in order to get around some loopholes with employee regulations and whatnot. And then they'll loan you a van, a sprinter van. And the reason they use those is because it's just slightly under the legal limit for what needs inspection for delivery trucks. And so like, there's a whole lot of like, woo, little under the radar stuff going on with Amazon. And then there's obviously been reports of hundreds of crashes with the Amazon drivers. At least six people have been killed in those incidences. And it doesn't look like Amazon really goes through the best safety training for them either. And it looks like they also kind of force them to do uh, more than what is reasonably required of a normal delivery driver as far as number of packages in certain conditions. And from what I've seen of videos of the difference between FedEx and UPS delivery guys versus Amazon delivery guys, or people rather, they the Amazon people just kind of chuck those packages. <laughs> they eat them. They're just like, I, I gotta go. So there's that. But let's talk about the most important thing with Amazon is that they wanna scan your soft, soft hands. At least according to this Gizmodo article talking about how they're quietly working on an identification system that can identify you by your handprints and not you don't need to actually scan yourself. It's all using all of the cameras in their stores and they're calling it codename Orville if that doesn't sketch you out just a little bit. Anyways, they scan, they track your hand, they make sure it's you, then they charge you to your Amazon account when you're picking up stuff. To, yes, I love Big Brother. I mean, it's okay when it's in like one store, I choose to go into the Amazon Go produce store to buy it so I don't have to use my card or anything. Super convenience, I understand that. As Soon as this is out on public streets, I probably am way beyond allowing it and so I'm not gonna protest, shame. Anyways, I'm gonna protest the continuing this episode of Hot News any longer. So why don't you remember to pick up some disc plates at the link in the video description. Use coupon code TOPART to save 32% right now. That's a great deal. Free, that's a great price. It's a free discount, I'm telling you that much. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode of Hot News. Let us know what you think of Hot News back on the main channel. Do you prefer Hot News on a secondary channel? We're working it all out, okay? YouTube is a, is a dance. It's like a give and take, okay? You gotta figure everything out, you guys. We're very clear in yesterday's mockumentary comments in something that was obviously a complete joke. Took me way too seriously. I feel validated as an actor. Thank you, I'm out of here, bye. I didn't want to say German because then that brought on images of Hitler in my mind. So I didn't want to give those to anybody else.